What is up YouTube and welcome to this Marvel Comics video. So if you're new to the channel and you enjoy this video at the end, please do consider leaving a like on it and subscribing with notifications on by hitting that bell button as well so you never miss a video if you enjoy, well, this video. So Marvel Comics is currently going through a state of change. They have got Marvel Legacy, which is hopefully bringing us a return to the Marvel comics of old and so far they are performing very very well and one of the big things of the Marvel legacy one shot was the possible return of the Fantastic Four now of course Fantastic Four is back in the Disney or Marvel home well, they can start possibly pushing that just a bit more. But the return of the four, or the fate of the four, is currently being handled by the fantastic writer Chip Zdarsky, who I first came across when he illustrated Sex Criminals with Matt Fraction, which, if you haven't read it, I would highly, highly recommend checking it out. You can check it down below in the description. You can pick that up from Amazon as well. You can also pick it up from Comixology, two places where I get most of my comics from, apart from my local comic shop, Ace Comics, here in Essex. But, 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 they're going to be talking about Marvel 2-in-1, which is a fantastic and absolutely amazing comic, one which I was super hyped for just because of the pedigree of Chip Zdarsky and the art by Jim Chung, which is absolutely superb, I have to say. It is possibly the, the best art I think I've seen in comics in a while. It is just stunning. But it is giving us the opening of the return of the Fantastic Four as we see Johnny and, well, we see the Thing working together. They are dealing with the loss of of their friends, the rest of the Fantastic Four and their kids. And, well, it is possibly giving us an insight as to when they will actually be returning. But I highly recommend reading this comic if you haven't actually read it. It really, really is good. And there is one thing in the latest issue that came out recently, and it seems like the timeline has changed of the Marvel Universe somewhat. So, of course, with comics, they have been running for decades. Over 50 years of these comics have been running with Marvel and Fantastic Four leading the charge early, early on. And, well, the one problem with all this time is the fact that, well, time is long. And, well, these characters don't seem to really grow up that much. We've only really seen Spidey go from high school right up to owning his own company and we see people come up since then so that's really really cool in the fact that we see some of these characters actually grow up and their their rival marvel's rival dc actually kind of fixed this with the new 52 where it it changed things and time was reset and we had the characters of batman superman etc etc et all really only be superheroes within the last five years but in this, in Marvel 2-in-1, we see a great romp with Reed Richards, who has left the way to the multiverse in secret. And the Thing and Johnny are actually going to find this, but they are intercepted by Doctor Doom, who is, well, now Iron Man. Yeah, it, it's a bit weird. If you haven't read the comics for quite some time, it's they, they're, they're fixing all this. Don't worry about this. Don't, don't worry. But we actually have Doctor Doom sort of help them they head to monster island which is one of the first adventures that the fantastic four actually went on and we see dr doom take out the mole man and everything in that but in this we have a brand new origin story for the Inc the fantastic four we have a a interesting take on things where we actually see flashbacks so we see we see an early reed richards lose out to Victor Von Doom and he actually goes on to prank Victor Von Doom and this leads to him having some sort of disfigurement in the future and and well it seems that he's not really a really nice dude but he has you know he's grown up but this is actually set in 1998 so in 1998 we actually have Reed Richards in college now, well, I thought that was really, really weird, 
considering the fact that it has been well over 50 years since the Fantastic Four number one actually debuted. And, well, I actually reached out to Chip Zdarsky on Twitter, and I asked him that if Reed and Victor were in college in 1998, does that mean the rest of the Marvel Universe heroes started around this time? Which, to me, that would make sense, considering the Fantastic Four, the first family of Marvel, were really kind of the precursors to a lot of this. Now, he's actually reached out to me, and he said, yeah, roughly. I used Spidey math. Peter is around 28. Started being Spidey at 15, which would be around 2004 to 2005. Fantastic Four up and running around 2003. So their accident is around 2002. If it doesn't work for you, you just have to wait a few years and then it does. Now that makes complete and utter sense. Because I think that maybe this is just him doing his own thing. He's been in charge of the Fantastic Four. Maybe he'll be given the Fantastic Football Four book when they actually return. So that does that is really, really cool. I really do like that. And I think that is a good way of doing things. So it looks like the rest of this is all happening. So that is it for this video. Please drop a like. Please subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Goodbye.